Friday morning. And you can probably hear from that pitter patter sound. But it's a less than lovely day in Abayang. Uh, we moved here yesterday and it's absolutely stunning. And I was going to show you some of it this morning. We had a squall, but well, we thought there was a squall coming in the night. Uh, we had winds blowing up about 30 knots and we thought, yay, um, the boat's going to get a wash because the boat's been covered in salt. Basically, we haven't had any rain uh, the whole trip up and since we arrived here. So uh, here's the captain now. Looking at this, this is what our weather's like this morning. It's wet. It's not all sunshine and swimming in the sea. Oh. forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to be notified of future episodes. So the rain has eased off a little bit, it's just spitting now. Um, and one of the provisos of us coming to the islands was that we checked in with the local police everywhere. We got a letter from immigration uh, the other day. So we are going to brave the spitting rain and go to the police station and officially check in to Abayang. <laughs> Once ashore, we bumped into the mayor, who showed us where the local police station was. We then handed over our letters of permission to visit the atoll. We also had the privilege of meeting the only female police officer to serve in the Outer Islands. Then it was back to Double Trouble for a quiet night on board, hoping for some better weather tomorrow. We woke up to an absolutely glorious day with a flat calm sea. A perfect day for flying the drone. And then it was time to get on with slightly more important issues. And what are you looking for under there, my love? <coughs> Um, I am looking for the Christmas decorations. Woohoo! We have decreed. Brav, can't find them. Yeah, look harder. As it's the first Saturday in December, I want the Christmas tree up. And it won't take long, let's face it. Oh, the dancing Santa, and I forgot about those. Fabulous. Look at them. Ready to go, they're dancing already. They are. Christmas lights. The Christmas lights. Look at the string of Christmas lights. I hope they work. Might need a new battery. Ta da! There it is. There's the Christmas tree. And in a few moments, we will have transformed DT into a fairy grotto. So, the Christmas decorations are officially up. They are. They are. Is the, sun is, uh, the sun is just about to set. It's almost dusk. And uh, the captain... In uniform. ...is about to turn on the lights. I hereby pronounce these lights on. For Christmas. Ta-da! Ta Pretty good, eh? <laughs> Doesn't get much better. Dazza's going up for a sunset flight then. Yep. Oh, that's a cracker. That's very nice. There it goes. <gasps> Off into the
Might be a bit of rowing in our future. This is what happens at low tide. <laughs> That's how shallow we are. The locals are walking. <laughs> and I'm going to take up fishing. Naked fisherman over there. Yeah, 18 year old. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's got nothing to do with my desire to currently start fishing. We've now resorted to walking. Or when I say we, I am still come to be seated in Dave. How's this working for you, Joe? Pretty awesome, actually. How's the water? Good. This is what a low, low tide looks like. Look how much water you're standing in. And the lovely Nick has come out to give us a hand. So this is the lovely Nick. Good morning. And this is the and this is the lovely Nick's house. And in a minute I'll find Lisa and show you what Lisa looks like as well. And they live here. Yes, and by Ag. But today they are very kindly lending us their bicycles, electric bikes nonetheless. Yes, so you save some energy. Yeah, so we can go and explore the island. How about that? You switch on here. After some instructions from Nick on how to operate the electric bikes, we were off. And we're off! Oh, I'm trying to do filming. I shall be a bit wonky. We're cycling. And Rob's going to show me how she used my electric option in a minute. <laughs> this local gentleman preparing copra. Copra is the dried kernel of the coconut. The shell is removed, broken up and then dried in the sun. Coconut oil is extracted from copra which makes it an extremely important commodity for these islands and everywhere there was evidence of the shells drying in the sunshine. The bikes were great fun and the electric motor proved very welcome in the heat of the day. Abayang means land in the north. It's also the first island in Kiribati where Christianity was introduced. The Christian Roman Catholic faith was introduced in 1892. And in 1907, the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Rosary was built. This was the place we were aiming to have a look at today. And we have no screen. And we have no controller as Rob's left his mobile behind and mine hasn't got the app. So we're flying in blind. And Rob knows what footage is going to come back. Okay, we'll give him a go. We'd had a fantastic day exploring Abayang, 
and headed back to DT to round off the day with a well-earned swim and enjoy a spectacular sunset. It's a sad day on board Double Trouble. Yeah, we brought a bag of chickpeas in uh, Fiji and they're full of weebly things. So uh, the chickpeas are essentially eaten out and hollow, which is the major tragedy. Um, <laughs> but also we've got, we've probably got about 50 or 60 weevils. Fortunately, we've we put them straight into this sealed container so we don't think it's gone to any of our other produce, but um, we're, we've taken the executive decision to uh, donate these to Neptune. And after chocolate, chickpeas are your favourite thing in the whole world. Yeah, there's about eight cans here, so it's a big I'm, loss. A big gonna, loss on the boat. I'm going to get you a black armband to wear for the rest of the day. Oh, yeah. There's anyway, we have got more chickpeas, everyone who's, who's concerned, oh, yes. obviously. Yes, we've we got do plenty. have more on board, but yeah. Yeah, to be fair, this is the first. Um, first bit of waste that we've had due to an infestation. Due to so. weevils. Well, due to those particularly black weevils, anyway, yeah. so that we good. would have noticed floating around in the hummus. It's extra protein. Yeah, but we're vegan. We can't eat weevils. No. All right, I'm going to bin this. <laughs> Are you all right? When we come back here in a couple of years, there'll be a hummus tree. <laughs> sprouting out of the sand. We'd seen the plane landing a few times and decided to go and check out the airport. I'm picking maybe they need to make the bump a bit bigger. So it's Friday evening and I'm pretty much standing at the end of the runway waiting for the flight to come in from Tarawa so we'll come down and get some footage. That's the uh, obviously the sun setting just behind me there and the runway just behind me here uh, and the plane is at the moment about ooh, about 40 minutes late so we're on island time. This gentleman had waited very patiently to cross back to his house once the runway was clear. So from what I can see it's pretty quick turnaround. One lot off, they load some stuff on and I think pretty much he's, uh, he's going to be up and away again in a few minutes because he's, uh, he's starting to lose some light. So yeah, uh, obviously I think the runway at Tarawa might be lit but uh, this one certainly is. Here's what you get on the side of the runway. We don't have bird scarers here. It's the little pig scarers. Hello piggies. And after a very fast turnaround, he was off again. The excitement over, we headed back to DT. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget if you're enjoying our videos, we would love you to subscribe to our channel. And for real-time updates, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.